this is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I unbox my Old Max Motors tire changing starter kit. I do have to say, it, uh, it took a while for me to get this thing. I ordered it in February, and it comes from Poland. And I, I talked to Lucas, uh, and he's the one who designs and builds these things. And he said it could take a while. He often doesn't want to sell them to the United States just because it does take a while. And I said, well, it, it looks perfect for me. You know, good things come to those who wait. I'll take it. And evidently, that's not a saying in Poland. So I ordered it in February. It took two months for it to go from Poland to New Jersey. And then in New Jersey, it sat there for two months. And then it went down to Jacksonville, Florida. Stayed there for just a little bit. Then from Jacksonville, Florida up to Nashville, so I got really excited. I said, like, ooh, I'm about to get it because I'm just outside Nashville. And then went to Memphis. I have no idea why. And then from Memphis back to Nashville. And then it went to my old address. I don't live here anymore. Um, <clears throat> it is USPS, so I thought they might forward it, but no, they didn't forward it. <clears throat> Luckily, though, uh, I'd had a package accidentally sent there before. It had my phone number on it, uh, so the resident uh, that lives where we used to now um, has my phone number. So he just called me up and said, hey, I got another package. I said, thank you very much, which I was tracking it, so I knew it was in Murfreesboro. And um, went down there and got the box. Now, this isn't a giant box, but that's the beauty of this system. It's smaller. I think, uh, I think it's mainly designed for, like, trackside usage. Uh, to me, I, I don't like to have a lot of big, expensive equipment. I like to have things that are compact. I think this is small enough where if I needed to, if I had a little cargo trailer for my motorcycle, I could put it in there, go over to a maintenance day, and help people change tires. Well, with that said, let's get to opening the box. Handy dandy <coughs> Swiss Army knife. Oh, I guess I should say... The box didn't come completely undamaged. There are some rips and tears. I mean, it's been kicking around for two months in the postal service. Over there. Looks like something big that side. So kicking around the U.S. Postal Service and overseas and everything else. It fared pretty well, if you ask me. And there it is. This is the starter kit, so it has this, this right here is for balancing the tires. But if you don't want to balance them, you can get the starter kit or not. And uh, you can always, once you have a tire mounted, just about anybody will balance a tire for you. You don't have to worry about what rim it's on to balance it. So one of the reasons I got this is uh, I don't want to have to worry about trying to find somebody who's going to mount my dark side tire. Plus, I like to do more and more things myself. And then if somebody's like, where do you get your tires put on since you're dark side? I just said, do it myself. And then if somebody else needs a tire done, I can help them, whether it's dark side or not dark side. But uh, before I help anybody, I gotta do some tires myself. Package it well. I mean, you see how it it poked through the box, but he had cardboard on it. So even though it poked through the box, nothing happened to this. So thank you, Lucas. It was packaged very well. I'm assuming that's the tire lube. Uh, a little nervous, I don't see any instructions. I was thinking there might be a instruction package right there, but uh, there's not. Like a nice handle. Looks like the <coughs> phone got a little messed up in, uh, in shipping or maybe packaging, but that, that may uh, release as it's not under pressure anymore. Alright, this looks like got some weights here. This is the starter kit. I believe it has basically everything you need to get started. Nice brush. And uh, Lucas 
updates this thing regularly, I've been told. I think this is a 2020 update. Um, I watched another video where the guy was talking about how uh, Lucas sent him one of these and then made some updates to it and like sent him a kit. I don't know if he paid for it or not, but sent him a little kit to update it. I think it was a clip on the balancing. And I did a lot of research before I settled on this one. I mean, you got all the things of the Harbor Freight you can get and modify for motorcycle. You got, um, you got the, the big machines. I think uh, Chris Caliente has a, a fairly good sized machine in his garage. Um, there's a lot of different ways of changing the tires. And I like this. It looks, you know, elegant. It's like an elegant way of doing it. Not uh, too much stuff. As you see here, fairly simple. This would all fit in the back of a of a cargo trailer uh, pulled behind on a motorcycle. So I'm looking at this right now, this is the piece for balancing, and the other is the tool for tire changing. Now there's the, the balancing rack. And my understanding you have it up here. You're balancing it, nice smooth bearings on there. And then you can set it down here. Uh, and that should snap down. So easy transport. Um, and my guess though is this actually mount over here. Should be off but just enough to miss the pole, break the bead. Yeah. And then I'll probably use this thing here. Set it in the proper depth. This here would I'll put the bead on. Well, that's essentially the uh, the old Max tire changing starting kit. Well, this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.